Okay guys, so we're gonna start off this workout with two big compound movements. The first movement is gonna be a sumo deadlift. If you've never done a sumo deadlift before, what you're gonna want to do is position your feet at a wide stance. So you're gonna wanna position your feet at about 1.5 to two times the width of your shoulders. Then you're gonna want to punch your toes out to about a 45 degree angle so you can open up your hips. When you're about to start the movement, what you're gonna to wanna to do now is you're gonna sink down into a squat while keeping a straight back and your chest up. You can grab the bar with a double overhand grip or a mixed grip. As you can see, I like grabbing the bar with a mixed grip. Ceci is using a double overhand grip. Make sure that your knees stay over your toes. You don't wanna to go too past your toes. And using your glutes and your hamstrings, pull the bar up, push with your hips, through the bar and then bring it back down. In this workout, we started off with about two light warm-up sets and then went on to four more working sets with heavier weight. To achieve a new dimension of sound, impossible to obtain in a The next big compound movement that we're gonna do is just the regular conventional back squat. I'm pretty sure most of you that go to the gym on a daily basis have done a conventional back squat, but if not, I'm gonna explain as best as I can. So to start off, what you're going to do is you're going to load the bar on your traps or your shoulders as you can see here. Take about one or two steps back just so you can get the bar off of the rack. And then as if you're sitting down onto a chair, you're going to bring your glutes back and come down. As you're coming down with the weight, you want to make sure that your knees stay directly above your toes so that you load more of the stretch on your quads, hamstrings and glutes and you put less stress on your knee joints. The next exercise is going to be a superset. If you don't know what a superset is, a superset means that you're doing two exercises back to back without rest in between. So the first exercise for this superset is a hamstring curl. What you're going to want to do here is position the pads at about your ankles and using your hamstrings and your knee as your pivot point, you're going to curl the weight up and then bring it back down. The second exercise to this superset is going to be a floor bridge using a stability ball. So when I do this exercise, I like facing my palms up to the sky instead of down to the ground just so I can keep my shoulders back and flat instead of rounded. So with your heels on the stability bar, you're going to bring your hips up off the ground until you've created a straight line from your knees to your shoulder blade. Hold it at the top of the movement for about 3 seconds and focus on really squeezing your glutes. The next exercise that we're going to do in this workout is going to be another superset starting off with the glute ham raises. So for this glute ham raise, you're gonna go onto this hyper extension bench thing. I'm not really sure what it's called, but you're gonna place only the ball of your feet on the foot plate. So your heels are gonna be lifted off of the foot plate. The bottom of your calves are gonna be held by the pad and the joint of motion is gonna be the hips. So when you find a good comfortable position, you wanna rotate your feet out to a 45 degree angle so you can work the hamstrings and the glutes more and less of the lower back. So while keeping a straight back, you're gonna hinge at the hip and bring your upper body down. When you're at the bottom of the movement, using your glutes and your hamstrings, you're gonna bring your chest up and squeeze your glutes at the top of the movement. Do about 12 to 15 reps and then go directly into the next exercise. The next exercise for this superset is going to be a hip thrust. What you're going to do in this movement is you're going to place your upper back and your shoulders on the stability ball. Get into a starting position in which you are in a straight line from your knees all the way up to your shoulders and you're bending at a 90 degree angle at your knees. Start the exercise by bringing your hips down, hinging only at your hips and then thrusting up. The rest of your body is going to remain in the position that it's in. So you don't want to slide up or down the ball, you don't want to move your feet. You're simply pinching down at your hip and then thrusting in an upward motion. The last exercise for this workout is going to be one more superset. The first exercise to the superset is going to be Romanian deadlift. So to do Romanian deadlift, you're going to start off by grabbing a barbell or a pair of dumbbells. Keeping the weight straight in front of you with your palms facing in. You're going to pretend as if you're sliding down the weight out in front of your legs. So you're going to want to place your feet at about hip width apart, keep a straight back and slight bent in your knees. Bring the weight down to your feet and using your hamstrings and your glutes, you're going to bring the weight back up. Superset the remaining deadlift with a lateral band walk. 
So for a lateral band walk, you are going to need some bands. Place the bands directly below your knees and keep a slight band in your knees. Position your feet at about shoulder width apart and with your left foot, take one step in towards your body and then bring it out. Switch off to do the same thing with your right foot and then switch between left, right, left, and right. So I hope you guys go ahead and give this workout a try. I promise a lot of time goes into the workout that I create. Let me know what you guys think, write down a comment, like the video, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I apologize for the nervousness, but I promise, give me some time and practice and I'll get better.